Hi, welcome to Body Rhythm Fitness Pilates. My name's Kim. This is an introduction video where I'll be talking you through the breathing techniques and some of the basic spinal positions for the classes. Just remember, um, Pilates, like any exercise, carries with it risk. So you, if you're unsure about whether Pilates is right for you, do seek medical advice before you start the classes. Also, during the class, if you ever feel any pain, particularly in your lower back, your spine or your neck, do stop the exercises and seek advice before carrying on. So we're going to come down to the mats, I'm going to talk you through your breathing techniques, spinal positions, and then we'll move into the class within the next videos. So we're going to lie down on our backs. So we're going to start with a neutral spine. That means your tailbone's down and you've got a natural curve of your lower back. You should be able to fit just a few fingertips between your lower back and the mat. The shoulders are down, the shoulder blades are flattening out with the mat. You can bring the hands down beside you. Knees bent, feet hip distance apart and just relaxing those legs into the mat as well. We're just going to start breathing with Pilates. We take the inhale through the nose. I want you to feel the sensation of it travelling all the way down to your legs as your rib cage will expand to allow the air in. And then relax inwards as the air travels up and out through your mouth. So the inhale is through your nose, take it all the way down, and exhale through your mouth. With each breath you take, I just want you to feel your particularly around your shoulders and your neck just relaxing into the mat. If you're holding any tension through your head, neck or shoulders, just try and let that tension go before we start the class. Nice, slow, steady, deep breaths in through your nose, and out through your mouth. At Pilates, I'm going to talk to you a lot about your T-zone. And we always engage our T-zone before we start our exercises. And the T-zone represents a capital T on your pelvis, the horizontal being your transverse abdominis, and the vertical line being your pelvic floor. We want these muscles to work together to support us, to support our pelvis, and to support our back when we start working through the exercises. So now taking two fingertips inside your hip bones, on the inhale, we're going to start engaging through the transverse abdominis. So on the inhale, we breathe in and we engage on those fingertips, feeling a little bit of resistance as those muscles tighten. It's a sensation as if you were drawing those hip bones together and down towards the mat, starting to get some strength developing through those deep abdominal muscles on the inhale. Good. Now remember the vertical line of your T-zone refers to your pelvic floor. So on the next inhale, I want you to draw up through your pelvic floor from back to front and engage that sling of muscles on the inhale. So we inhale, pelvic floor, engage. Exhale as we release. Inhale, starting to draw up. A bit more strength through the pelvic floor. Release on the exhale. Next time you breathe in, I want you to engage your T-zone all together. So transverse abdominis and pelvic floor, all working together on the inhale. T-zone on and exhale to release. Inhale, T-zone. Good, exhale. So you're starting to feel the strength start developing your core. With every exercise we do in our Pilates work, we'll inhale, engage the T-zone before we initiate the work. It's going to support our pelvis, help our core work much better, support our lower back. Good, inhale, T-zone on, exhale, and release. Two more, inhale, T-zone on, and exhale to release. Well done, last one. Inhale, T-zone. And exhale to release. 